Two things I got coming for the car. The subframe connectors, I've had to order a name and the uh, rocker pair. And then on the very bottom, you have a torque screw down that would go right there. And then you have slit. I loosen it up just enough to where I can get the wires in between this, run them, you know, down into where they need to be and all that. But anyways, is, is, I gotta finish on checking bolts and stuff like that after putting the header gasket back on and getting on. And it's brand new. It's not reconditioned or anything. It's brand, brand new. <laughs> Actually makes me think of my top floor. I said paint. He was like, hey, paint it out. I was like, oh, no, we're just you know, working and work second shit. So, anyways, um, that's a little update. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So, hopefully, the lighting is not too dark in here. Um, I'm doing a little late night in the garage after getting home from work. Um, so, just a little uh, update on next few things I got coming for the car the Fox body the 87 um, I've got so the subframe connectors I've had to order a, uh, a angled drill adapter to get up into the in between the frame and the uh, rocker panel to actually drill the hole straight it's just a tight area I can't get the drill up in there because it's like the back part of it is hitting and is at an angle so not going to work. So I had to order that. I'm waiting for that to come in so I can finish bolting the subframe connectors on. And um, I'm also, here, let me turn this around. I'm also installing, let me see if y'all can see. Hang on, let me grab the light. Ah. All right, so I'm also installing my tack now. I've got the dash all taken apart. But um, I'm installing the, da the tachometer on the dash here. I'm not gonna drill any holes in my dash or the the uh, trim. Um, so I'm gonna try some double side 3M sticky tape right there and have it just like that. I have the wires ran. I couldn't find a video on it anywhere. So I'm hoping this helps somebody out because I was a little um, uh, curious of how to get the wires ran down. So what I did was I just loosened this front, this, this, uh, uh, main, I guess you would call it the main trim piece. You have a screw there, a screw there, and then on the very bottom, you have a torque screw down. Let's see, you have a, ah, uh, this damn light. You got a screw right there that would go right there, and then you have one on this side, right there, if you can see that. And that will allow this whole piece to uh, come loose and what I did was I just slid it forward just enough to uh, I hate working in the dark I'm sorry y'all I slid I loosened enough just enough to where I can get the wires in between this and I routed it like that I don't know if you can see that or not hopefully um, and I'm gonna do some uh, wire loom on that after I get it mounted to make it look good and then from there I will take the wires and run them you know down into where they need to be and all that but anyways mountain attack is one of the other things I'm doing um let me get out of here so you can actually see me sorry um so the other thing is is I gotta finish running the wires inside for the nitrous um I still gotta mount the bottle in the back and then run the main uh, nitrous line from the bottle to the solenoid uh, so I still got all that to do um, also I was in the I was up front here in front of the motor the other day and I was just looking around you know just double checking bolts and stuff like that after putting the header gasket back on and getting that sealed up I was just looking around and I came across a piece of rubber and I got looking at my harmonic balancer and that thing is shot I'll put a picture of it up um, but so I had to order a new one and it just came in today I got a brand new harmonic balancer so I uh, ordered it through 1A Auto uh, they seem to be the most reasonable price around um, I think I got it for 
It was, uh, I think it was like $62 shipped. 62 bucks shipped, so that's pretty good on price. Um, everywhere else is 80, 90 bucks. Um, and it's brand new. It's not reconditioned or anything. It's brand, brand new. Or at least I think it is. And the rubber looks, you know, there's no scar or anything. Everything, ah, everything looks fine on it. Um, the rubber looks good, everything. So I don't know. As long as it ain't about to fall off like that one is, <laughs> that actually makes me think of my timing's off. So I'm glad I ran across that. That actually gave me a chance to paint that ugly pink crank pulley down there. I don't know if y'all can see that. That was actually a joke. Uh, whenever I did that, a friend of mine, he kind of, he kind of, we found some fluorescent pink. He was like, hey, paint that. I was like, ah, what the hell ever. I'm just, it was a joke. Um, and I've been meaning to take it back off and paint it black, but that'll give me a chance to do that now. Um, or either put the race crank pulley on, which I've been needing to do. Um, I've just been busy, man, uh, working and I work second shift, so I don't go in until two in the afternoon. I don't get off till 10 or 11 at night. Um, and, uh, in the mornings, uh, spend some time with my son. So I probably got about an hour and a half free in the mornings before I actually got, get, got to get ready to head to work. So it's a little tight on time. And then I watch him on the weekends while my wife works. So uh, I make it do, you know, um, make the best of it. That's all we can do, right? So anyways, um, that's a little update on what I got going on. Uh, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. I still got to get the hood painted also. Um, Oh, just some stuff. But anyways, that's a little update on everything.